In her sixth year leading Boise State softball team, Erin Thorpe is rewriting her coaching commandments, starting with thou shalt steal as much as possible. Thanks to a glut of team speed, the Broncos are burglaring bases at a record-setting pace. Boise State is averaging two steals per game, swiping a school record 78 already this season. If the Broncos maintain that pace, they'll break the Mountain West record of 87 next weekend. The squad's success in the base pass is thanks in large part to leadoff hitter and newly minted Conference Player of the Week, Tara Glover. But Thorpe was surprised to see just how quick some of her teammates were this offseason. Going into January, we had six um, athletes that met her time or were better than her time from last year. Um, and so we knew that it was going to be something that, that we were hopefully going to be able to utilize this season. And, and so far, it's worked pretty well. I like that having the team speed, you don't have to do the sacrifice spots and just waste it out. I feel like sometimes we have a competition of who can get their jersey the dirtiest. Don and I do the same thing with our dress shirts during the show. Well, the Broncos don't just steal, they also give back. On Saturday, the Boise State softball squad is hosting a Locks of Love event after its game against San Jose State. Four players and one coach will donate at least 10 inches of hair to the organization, which provides hair pieces to children suffering from medical hair loss. Junior Lindsay Nicholson helped organize the event. She says she's not too worried about losing her locks. I know all of us um, that are cutting our hair that are on the team have been talking about it for a while and thinking about all the different hairstyles that we're going to do when our hair is short. But other than that, I think that we're just really excited to um, be able to make a difference in somebody else's life.